My name is Dr Sharon MacDonald. My work is both personal and professional. I am the Managing Director of Suicide Bereavement UK and an Honorary Research Fellow at the University of Manchester. I am also personally bereaved by suicide. I've specialised in suicide bereavement research for 20 years. My aim is to advance understanding in the field, inform policy and practice and reduce the suicide rate amongst those impacted by such deaths. Suicide prevention is a government priority in the UK. However, most attention, that is funding, research, training, etc. tends to focus on suicide and self-harm, with many professionals totally unaware that caring for those bereaved or affected by suicide is a key aspect of suicide prevention. Let me put this into some kind of perspective to highlight the urgency of this problem. The estimated economic cost of each suicide is £1.7 million. On average, 6,500 people die by suicide in the UK annually. Research tells us approximately 135 people are affected by each death and also at risk of dying by suicide too. In simple terms, those bereaved by suicide always outnumber those who die by suicide. Yet research tells us that health professionals who come into contact with those bereaved by suicide are often anxious and uncertain how to respond to and care for those bereaved by suicide due to the lack of training. We also know health professionals are at risk of dying by suicide. Ironically and unethically, we have one high-risk group, the health professionals, expected to care for another high-risk group, those bereaved by suicide, without any training, support or guidance where to signpost this vulnerable, high-risk group at a time of high risk and intense need. This cannot continue. UK government stress the importance of providing better information and support to those bereaved by suicide, yet are dependent on research conducted in other countries to guide us on how to look after our people. In an attempt to address this issue, I led a national suicide bereavement survey to identify the needs of those bereaved or affected by suicide. Over 7,000 people participated, making it the largest suicide bereavement survey internationally. The findings from the Grief to Hope report highlight the urgency of caring for this vulnerable population. Examples include the following. 33% experience losing more than one person to suicide. Those in Northern Ireland are likely to be experienced more than one suicide compared to the rest of the UK. 82% stated that the suicide had a major or moderate impact on their lives. 38% had considered ending their life. 8% had made a suicide attempt, 62% felt support services in their area to be inadequate. One of the recommendations stressed the importance of providing mandatory evidence-based suicide bereavement training to professionals in numerous agencies who come into contact with those bereaved by suicide. My organisation, Suicide Bereavement UK, delivers evidence-based and evaluated PAPS suicide bereavement training nationally which was informed by a three-year study conducted by experts at the University of Manchester, funded by the National Institute for Health and Research and first of its kind internationally. Ironically, while Suicide Bereavement UK delivered this training across the length and breadth of the UK to thousands of professionals who come into contact with those bereaved by suicide, we have only been commissioned to deliver one PABS in-house workshop in Northern Ireland a grand total of 20 professionals trained. The people of Northern Ireland, both bereaved and affected by suicide, have come together and participated in this National Suicide Bereavement Survey in the hope that their government will hear their collective voice. It is essential that their government listen, acknowledge, but more importantly, act to help address this national unmet need. For more information about PABS training and to download the Grief to Hope report, please visit our website suicidebereavementuk.com. Thank you.